Hey guys, Marvin from MB Collectibles here. I did a Goodwill trip today. I hit the bins and I also hit uh, two retail stores. And this was my haul. I was really selective today. We have a lot of stuff we haven't listed yet. Um, so, I, But I did pick up things that I'm like, oh, this will sell really well. So first off, I got this Broncos sweater. Good size, really great shape. Looks like it's not even been worn. Probably because the Broncos were terrible. Now they have Russell Wilson, so the bandwagon fans will hop on. And this should sell right away as soon as the season starts. I got these Kate Spade flip-flops. These Made in Italy Isabella Fiore shoes. Uh, decent comps on those. Wizard of Oz glass I picked up. I paid a buck for that. Um, my mom collects Wizard of Oz stuff, so I'll end up giving that to her. This little fancy uh, Mickey Mouse glass. Paid two bucks for that which is probably paying up for it. I didn't look up comps, but I'm guessing I'll probably list it around 10. I don't know. This Harry Potter uh, coffee mug, I paid 50 cents for that. And the Yeti, it does have a teeny little ding there at the bottom, uh, but I only paid a buck for it. Uh, it's a legit Yeti. Uh, my wife will probably end up stealing that because that's what she does. Uh, this little makeup case, I'll give that to my youngest. She's a little diva, so she'll put that in her purse. It's just a little mirror. Um, NASCAR stuff doesn't really sell well for us, but when you're only paying, when you're paying by weight and, you know, I probably paid 50 cents for both of those, I'll end up bundling those up together and hopefully get, you know, 10 or 12 bucks out of those on eBay. These, uh, West Virginia, um, uh, booties or slippers, I guess you would call them, boots, not really boots, slippers, are really cool. They're in really great shape. Looks like they've only been worn once or twice. Um, I'll end up. Uh, putting those on for probably 15 to 20 bucks. I'm not sure uh, This vintage a lot of fishing stuff. I didn't really look up any comps at all uh, But I'm sure it's worth way more than the two dollars. I paid for those or whatever. So uh, Also got this American Eagle vintage um, single stitch Great moments in the stadium little made in USA uh, vintage American Eagle tag uh, it doesn't have a size, which kind of sucks. Uh, it looks to me like it's an extra large, but I'll measure it and put all the measurements on eBay and everything like that. And the coolest find of the day was this um, 1971 Laurel, or is it Hardy? Laurel or Hardy, one of those guys. Uh, but I looked up comps on these, and um, it has some condition issues, as you can see. Um, some paint loss and a little chipping here and there, but all the ones that I saw on eBay have those comps on them are pretty good it's anywhere from like 80 bucks to like 150 bucks so we'll see i'll probably be at the lower end of that just because it's got condition issues but hopefully it sells and if not i'll end up taking it out to hartville or flea market or a place like that and hopefully it sells there anyway all this stuff's going to be cleaned and listed check us out on ebay check us out on tiktok check us out on youtube and be collectibles thanks for watching bye